I never thought the day would come that my mom would be honored in her hometown of Newark, New Jersey. But on December 14, 2008, which is my mom's birthday, it was declared Linda Jones Day forever in the city of Newark. Helen and I agreed that the presentation of the proclamation event should be held at Newark's historic Robert Tree Hotel in the Presidential Governor's Suite. Right there, start the shepherd, then in, and then we'll kind of intercept you. And you can just say, oh, this is In the so midst of planning the proclamation event, on December 3, 2008, the Grammy nominations were announced, and my mom, Linda Jones, myself, Carrie Jones, and Helen Bruner were nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Traditional R&B vocal performance for the song Baby I Know off of the Linda Jones Soul Talking CD. You talk about excitement. Never in a million years would I imagine all of this at one time. Wow. I had guests sign in as they arrived. I wanted to be able to remember every single person in attendance who came to share in this special moment with me. Here I am greeting my mom's first manager, Jerry Harris. I began to get a little nervous waiting for Councilman Donald Payne Jr. who was to present me with the proclamation. And there he was, signing in. Artists began greeting each other, taking photos. At that moment, I knew Mom was happy and it was going to be a great night. I also received a message from Tina Marie who admires my mom. Hi, this is Tina Marie. I wanted to send my heartfelt congratulations to the family of Linda Jones and to her memory. Now, please, because you put your hands together, I'd like to bring out here the councilman, Mr. Donald Payne Jr. from the great metropolis of Newark, New Jersey, and uh, the lady of the hour, my sister, right. Miss Terry Jones, Linda Jones's baby. Come on here, You know there's always a technical difficulty. Someone leaned on the light. I wonder who that could be. I think I know who it is. But I'm going to just let it slide and keep that a secret. Then we had to get the mic set just right for reading of the proclamation. But after then, we kept it moving and things just moved forward the way we had planned. Oh, one point of clarification. When Councilman Payne reads 40 years since my mother's passing, it was incorrect. He meant 40 years since the release of Hypnotize, my mother's biggest hit, which was released in 1967. In 2008, it's been 35 years since her passing. But I'd like to take this moment and quiet, be quiet for a bit and let you listen to what Councilman Payne has to say regarding my mom, Linda Jones, the Empress of Soul, her musical legacy. That I could say, no, that's from North New Jersey. This is what North New Jersey is about. We have more, we're more than just the riots, and we're, we're still fighting that persona even at this point in time. So I just think it is um, a great honor to stand here with young Miss Jones and say that uh, as I was as a young boy, proud of people from New York that have made a mark, we're once again proud that you're making a mark along with your mother. And being a second generation uh, in the business that I am, and I know how hard it is to come from behind that shadow. I know how hard, well, well, she has some talent. I don't have much talent. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it casts a large shadow, and, it, and it, it, it can be hard at times to find, to find, to find your, your own voice. But when you have a beautiful voice, as she does, it's not hard at all. So I'm just here to say, as um, City Father of Newark, we're proud of your mother, always have been. We're proud of what you're doing. See, and, and, and just like a Jersey girl, you know, she's got her business. It's Phil Erzy, so, <laughs> you know, 
Only a Norker could come up and think of something like that and, and, and continue to, to keep Jersey uh, as part of it. So um, I have a proclamation from the County of Essex. I'm also, uh, I'm a Newark City Councilman, but I'm also an Essex County Freeholder. So I have both ends covered. I'm one of those right. terrible dual office holders. <laughs> but um, this is from the County Executive, Office of the County Executive. Linda Jones was a lifelong resident of Newark whose music career was cut short in 1972 when she passed away at the age of 27 <coughs> from complications of chronic diabetes. Linda Jones was a talented singer and songwriter who recorded her first hit in 1967, Hypnotize. Had subsequent chart toppers, What Have I Done to Make You Mad and Your Precious Love, and earned the nickname of the Empress of Soul because of the emotion and talent she expressed in her singing. Linda Jones was a pioneer in the jazz, soul, and rhythm of the blues music industry, whose unique voice has influenced generations of young singers and whose music is still wildly popular more than 40 years after her passing. And whereas Linda Jones, along with her daughter Terry Jones and Hella Bruner, was nominated for a Grammy in 2008 for Best Traditional R&B Vocal Performance for the song Baby I Know, Terry Jones, and Bruno featured recordings of Linda Jones on their 2008 CD, Soul Talking, as an opportunity for Terry to record music with her mother. And whereas Linda Jones is a music icon of Newark, Essex County, and around the globe, and was honored on Sunday, Sunday, December 14th, which is the 64th anniversary of her birthday. Now therefore, be it resolved that by Essex County County Executive Joseph DiVincenzo and the governing body of Essex County that Sunday, December 14, 2008, be declared as Linda Jones Day in the County of Essex and that Linda Jones be remembered as an influential figure in the music industry and North's music history. I was also presented with a beautiful framed letter from the mayor of North, Cory Booker. Thank you for taking time and coming out to spend this afternoon and to honor you know, me with this proclamation on behalf of my mom. I really will be forever grateful to you. Um, uh, before we move on, uh, wow, wow, this is really a lot. Um, I'd like to thank some of the other people from uh, City Council who were instrumental in making this day happen in terms of putting the proclamation through. And I'd like to thank Zade Braswell. I know he's, he couldn't make it today, but he began the ball rolling with this thing. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Lennox Hooker, uh, she actually moved forward with it as well. Kevin Peterman, and the person that brought it all together, who introduced me to all of these wonderful people and Donald Payne, is Mr. Joey Washington. Yo, 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 yo. And he pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and he made it happen. So thank you so much, Joey, for always being there and for your love and support. Um, also, there's a few people here that um, that I think that that I think I should uh, would like to recognize. Um, Thanks to my family, uh, Alan, Aunt Brenda, I mean, all of my family that's here. Thank you for always loving me unconditionally because, you know, although um, I grew up without my mother, most of us did because the diabetes in my family was really something that took everybody out. So we actually grew up as brothers and sisters. So, you know, thank you to all my cousins and my aunts and everybody for just embracing me and my sister Robin who actually passed from uh, cancer a few years ago. So I lost my, my, my sister who's up there with mom right now. And, uh, and you know, hey, she's here with me right now too. Actually, this coat that I'm wearing today is actually my mom's. You know, I, I, I actually, you know, it's still, still here. And, and you know, it's so funny because this coat followed me wherever. It made me feel safe throughout my life. Where I went, it went. Where, you know, it followed me everywhere. And I said, you know what? I'm not pulling it out until there's a special day or someplace. And this day is the day that I said, I don't care what I have to wear it with, but I'm going to put it on. That's what I'm doing.